Hare Krishna. Thinking about worldly things is not attachment. Not being able to not think of them is. Sometimes when we start practicing spiritual life, we may get a very world rejecting conception of spirituality. Think, I don't want to think about anything worldly. Well, that might be a good sentiment, but practically we have to live in this world. And living in the world means that we have to function, observe the things of the world, think about them and respond to them, engage them, use them. So we can't be paranoid about worldly things. In fact, sometimes we may be given a service to Krishna in this world where we may have to engage with worldly objects. We see this in the Bhagavad Gita in the 11th chapter when Krishna tells Arjun Tasma tamuttishta yasho labhasva jitva shatran bhumshvarajyam samriddham mayai vaite nihata purva meva nimitta matram bhavasav vyasachi That Krishna says, Arjun arise, attain victory. By my arrangement, all your opponents have defeated. So, enjoy a flourishing kingdom. So, be an instrument in the fight for me. So, here Krishna uses Bhumshva, enjoy, Rajam Samruddham. Enjoy, and he talks about flourishing kingdom. So, these are world, worldly things. A flourishing kingdom is a worldly thing. And Krishna has earlier cautioned, say in 2.44, Bhogaishwarya Prasaktanam, Tayapaharita Chetasam. Vyavasayatmika buddhi samadhau navidhi yate That those who are attached to, play, uh, to sensual indulgence and worldly opulence, their mind becomes so obsessed that they can't focus on spiritual truth. And thus they stay deluded. So when Krishna is cautioned about worldly opulence, why is Krishna now telling Arjun to enjoy worldly opulence? The point is worldly opulence is not the problem. It is obsession with it. Obsession means that we can't not think of it. So when, say, Arjun as a, as a ruler, as a king, has to think about opulence, but uh, he thinks of it as a resource to be used in the service of Krishna for the welfare of people, for the welfare of his citizens, for establishing dharma in society. So he does think about those things. But if somebody becomes so attached that they can't not think of it. That means even when they are coming to a temple, they are thinking, oh, if I just seal this deal, then I can earn so much money. Even when they are with their family members, instead of focusing on the relationship, they are thinking, oh, I can earn this money, I can this money, I can do this. So, attachment, thinking about something doesn't lead to attachment. It is a comprised attachment. Not being able to not think of something, being compulsively, obsessively, Drag to think about things that is attachment. Uh, uh, as de practitioners of bhakti, we want to avoid being attached to worldly things. But to avoid that, it's not that we don't think about them at all, we don't care about them at all. Rather, we strive to practice bhakti yoga by which we become attached to Krishna. And once we are attached to Krishna, then we can uh, think about worldly things without becoming attached to them can think about them in a mood of how to use them in the service of Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.